Hey, David from Extreme Home Arcades here with another how-to video. I thought it would be good to show you how to add Expansion Drive C, which should come up as the Y drive, but if it doesn't, I'll help you fix it. All right, so I'm exited out of my uh, big box uh, just to the desktop here. I'm going to click on my little yellow folder icon down here to bring up Windows Explorer. Now, as long as your drive is turned on, plugged into the USB port, if it's a USB caddy, if you have it plugged directly into your SATA and your power ports, uh, it should come up as well. But I've seen sometimes where this comes up as the F drive. If you notice here, this is the Y drive. This is what I want it to be, the Y drive. Um, if it comes up as the F drive, no big deal. All we have to do is just go down here to the Windows Start bar at the bottom. We're going to right click. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to try to bring it up. The right, uh, right click here, and we're going to select Disk Management. So right click on the Windows icon down in the bottom left corner, select Disk Management. And that's going to bring this up. I'll drag this over so you can see it better over there. Um, and we're, this is basically just showing us our drives here. But if I scroll down here, you'll see that our Y drive, whoops, too far. Our Y drive is actually shown on top, but yours may be down lower, but you're just looking for the expansion drive C, this heading here. And I know this can get a little bit confusing, but just as a review, your expansion drive uh, A is shown right here, and it should be the W drive. Your expansion drive B should be the X drive. Expansion drive uh, C should be the Y drive. So the Y in the alphabet, and it's critical that it comes up as the Y drive, because if it's anything other than that, the system isn't smart enough to know where it is because it's looking for the Y drive for everything. So what we need to do is if it's showing up as the F drive or, I don't know, W, I mean, anything other than Y, we need to right click on here and we're just gonna go to very carefully select change drive letter and pass. So I'm gonna, you can see here, mine's coming up the Y, but let's, let's say yours is coming up as F drive. You're just gonna click on change and you're gonna scroll down here until you select the Y drive. It's critical that it's the Y drive, so it has to be the Y drive, okay? So you click OK, OK, and it's going to give you a prompt and say, do you really want to do this? Are you crazy? No, it doesn't say that. But it says, do you really want to do this? Just say yes. And then it's going to make some noise probably. And when you go back over here, you can close this out. And you'll see that your Y drive or your C drive now comes up as the Y drive. Yay. All right. So that's the first step. Next step, let's go into the Y drive. And we're going to copy over some files here. And I put it all in cap letters here. So you can see add expansion drive C to your system here. So we're going to go in there. And every title tells you what to do. Um, this one's probably already been done for you, so you probably don't have to worry about that. Um, but every one of these, whether they're in alphabetical order or whatever, I mean, I can sort them however. But um, if I just start with this very first one here, add to LaunchBox emulators folder. So basically, any new emulators that we've added in uh, for the C drive operation are going to be in here. So as a rule of thumb, we just go in the, the folder. You can click and drag over. And I'm, again, I'm not using the keyboard, mouse, or anything special here. I'm just using the trackball and the upper three buttons, the left click button here. Uh, with the toggle switch, of course, to the right. So these are enabled as mouse buttons. I'm just using left click here. So I'm just dragging over all of them. And then I'm going to right click, which is your, your right button up here. And I'm going to select copy. Okay, so that's going to copy all this stuff. We don't need to delete it or cut it or anything like that. We're just going to copy it. Okay, and then on your left column here, we put a nice little quick link here for your LaunchBox folder and then also the emulators folder. So as the title says, add to your LaunchBox emulators. I'm going to copy them again just to demonstrate that. I'm going to go over into the emulators folder here. Click that. This is everything that's already there. I'm going to go over to the right side here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say paste. And it's going to ask me if I want to do this with Explorer. Definitely select Explorer. Terra copy will add copies of things and label them wrong and you don't want that. So just select Explorer. It's going to do all that. I've already done it on here, so I'm not going to go through it. It takes time. So uh, that's what you do. So let it do its thing. That's done. Then we can go back here to our back arrow. And it'll let me go back two times, and I'm back here again. And I'm going to go to the Add to LaunchBox Images folder. So then I'm going to select all this stuff here again. I'm going to right click. I'm going to select Copy. And then I'm going to go over here to my LaunchBox folder, to my Images folder. And in here, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to select Paste with Explorer. This one here again, Explorer. I'm not going to do it because it takes a while. One thing that I will say on this one is when you paste it over, you don't. if there's anything that's already there that matches, you can say no when you're prompted. Do you want to copy this? Just say no, because you don't need to overwrite pictures that are already there. So that's just one thing for the images in the videos folder. Again, I'm going back. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go back because I've already done it on this one. Back one more time. I'm back in my all caps folder here for my launch things uh, or for the expansion drive C. I'm going to go to add, add to the launch box videos folder. So I'm going to follow the directions. I'm going to copy everything inside of here. Copy. I'm going to go over to launch box and I'm going to go to the videos folder. Once I bring that up here, I have all my video folders here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say paste with Explorer. Not going to do it again because it's already done. But then we can go back again. 
back to my all caps folder here. And oops, one more time. And then this one says copy and overwrite in your LaunchBox tools folder. I'm going to go in over here. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go over here to my tools folder. And I'm going to right click over here. I'm going to say paste and I'm going to overwrite. You kind of get the idea. So basically, that's that one. Um, this one says copy and paste to all your to your uh, W Drive expansion emulators. So this is mainly for TechnoParrot. So we're going to copy all this stuff here again. And we're going to go over here into the expansion drive, which is W for expansion drive A, your expansion emulators folder. And you'll see I have a TechnoParrot folder here. So I'm going to go into there. I'm going to paste and overwrite everything here. So that's that step. And then let's see. Copy and paste to your desktop. This is just for the user manuals that are shown here, your quick launch guide and your user manual. It puts them there so you can easily access them. It also adds them to the main wheel now so you can access them there. Uh, copy and paste to, let's see, I got that one. Extract to your LaunchBox data folder. So again, this is something that needs to be extracted. People get hung up on this one all the time. This just updates the database so it shows all the new games that are in Expansion Drive C. Um, you can do this entire thing if you don't care about your favorites and other things. If all you care about is just adding an Expansion Drive C uh, database and, and getting that to show up on your wheel, you can just take part of this. So I just double clicked on that. Let me do it one more time. Double click on this. It brings up this big white window. If you just want Expansion Drive C, all you have to do is go into Platforms, and then you're looking for Expansion Drive C. Let me sort these by name so I can find it easier. <clears throat> You'll see Expansion Drive C here. Expansion Drive C. If you just want this, you can copy this or extract it anyway. Not copy, I'm sorry. Uh, you can click on Extract up here, and then we just need to make sure we put it in the right place. So this is critical. Again, this is really trips people up, but if you watch really carefully here, we're just going to the C drive. Uh, we're going into the, the um, Users folder. You're going into the Administrator folder, and then you're going into the LaunchBox folder. And then one more into the data folder, because this is where all the databases are, data. So you just go into there, you say OK. It's going to extract it there. Uh, you probably don't have anything there, but if you do already, you just say overwrite yes. But if I wanted to do this whole thing, which most people usually do, kind of start fresh, get the whole list of everything that's on here, uh, I'm just going to go back. So this is right where I started. Um, and then you'll see all this stuff here. So we're just going to take all of this, and then we're going to click on extract. And again, it's critical that we put this in the right folder, so we click on the three dots here. And we're going to navigate to this drive again. So the C drive. And then I'm going to go down to Users. And then Administrator. And then scroll down again here a little bit more to Launch Box. And this has to go inside the data folder. So go ahead and click on the data folder. Make sure it's highlighted. Not either one of these, just the data folder. Say OK. Now it puts this whole line in here. This is critical that it's in the Users, Administrator, Launch Box, Data folder. That's got to be on this line here. When I say OK, it's going to overwrite everything. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite. I say yes to all and let it do its thing. Should take about 30 seconds. When that's done, you can close that out. That's finished. Now, whoops, bump my spinner. Back up here, make sure you've updated the launch box. It says run this first, but at least before you run uh, launch box, you want to update that. It's actually now at 13.14. So that'll be the one that's in this folder normally. Uh, again, if you're already connected to your Wi Fi, this should be doing itself. Uh, by itself all the time anyway. So it'll come up on its own. So you shouldn't have to worry about that too much, but I just want to make sure that nobody's out there running, you know, like LaunchBox 12.6 and then some of the features won't even be unlocked. So um, that's critical. So that's it. Uh, the last thing here is uh, Misfit Main Fix, but it's just really a picture of something that we need to remove from a line. But if you have questions on that, just let me know. This is in LaunchBox itself. Uh, it should be fixed on 99% of everything that's out there anyway, but it's in here just. Uh, if anybody has a problem launching Misfit main games, uh, something that's been added new on Expansion Drive C. So I think that's everything. Hope that works out well for you. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. All right, just to show this quick before I end this video, I just wanted to show where the new stuff is at because a lot of times you do all this work, you load this back up, and with 70,000 games on the system, you probably don't even know where the heck the new games are. So if we start here and Arcade Classics as our, our kind of our landmark or our base, uh, foundation here. If I just go up, you'll start to see where some of the new stuff is at. So Expansion Drive C is here. Uh, this is our whole listing. Uh, so I can go into here and just, you know, you guys have seen this in our live at launch and stuff, but lots of new fun stuff. This is Expansion Drive C. Okay, I'm going to back out. And then I'm just going to show you Expansion Drive A and B. It's a common question where are all those games at? They're in the customer request folder. So you see this little gray folder here with Pac-Man on it. 
That is customer request. That's expansion drive A and B together. So if I go in there, you're going to see games. Oh, lots of stuff. But um, games like this. Uh, Super Mega Baseball. Super Monkey Ball. Super Banana Ball. Supplice, whatever that game is. Super Land. Anyway, you get the idea. So that's the, all of Expansion Drive A and B is here in customer requests. And everything on Expansion Drive C is now in here for Extreme Home Arcade's Big Box Expansion Drive C. Expansion Drive C. And now I'm working on Expansion Drive D will be right below that. So that's coming up as well. Have a great day.